Hello guys, uh, welcome to the stream. We are back, Sang and Joel back on the stream once Yay. again. We know that maintenance just started and... But Joel, did you get it on Black Spirit mode before you got it? I made sure I had Black Spirit uh, mode turned on before I came here. Did have you, one of you guys uh, turn on Black Spirit mode before you went into maintenance? A lot of people are saying no. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah, I did. There we go. Okay, so we have one person that did. We have, I see two or three people that says yes, and I used to even say yes, Pong, with my curiosity. Pong. There's actually a lot of setting up to do for maintenance if you think about it. There's Black Spirit mode. And you have to set up your workers, get them working. Mm, true. And then you also got no management happening in the background. Mm. There's so much to do. It, it's really a different game. I always feel like because mm. you know when I, I'm you know we're all working on Black Desert Mobile, and it feels so different in a way that even when you're not actually playing the game, you feel like the game is still running somehow. See, that's why I don't really feel like I'm losing out. You know, sometimes you feel like, oh no, I'm. I'm, I need to spend all the energy before it fills up or mm, things like that. Right. But like with Black Desert, you don't have any of that stuff. And for me, I just like wake up in the morning, you know, send workers to nodes for like two hours, sure. you know, get ready for work, get to work, and then turn it on and work because we're, we're at a game con. Yeah. We're allowed to play. <laughs> a lot of the comments that we're reading right now, uh, mm. we're getting a lot of questions about a new class coming through. I think uh, coming into the new year, we're not going to be too long, I think, before a new class is eventually going to roll out. I want to just kind of hear from you guys what class you want to see. Moose, 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 Sword. You were getting Wizard. a lot of Moose. Uh, Wizard. Wait, some, guy, some guy really wanted Wizard and posted yeah. it like 20 times in a row. Sword, 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 Sword. So okay. we were getting a lot of Sorcerers as well. So, so uh, that, that looks like some Moose up somehow. Yeah, a little bit of yeah, some Moose. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, walls yeah. of other classes. Tamer. Yeah. Sark. Yeah. The second thing that is really coming up alive on chat is Shakatu. 35k no orange. How many, how much coins have you guys actually spent and not really gotten a single orange? So people are writing in chat right now, 25,000, 20,000, 39k no orange. That is really sad. That's 40k and no orange. That's the story of most of us here though. It, it really is. <laughs> 70k and no orange? You're kidding me. Who's oh, that? Bear, bear first one? I remember him. Bear from first last one? Week. You, you, you kind of really emphasized that name last week, right? Because I'm a bear, he a bear, we Oh, we have you guys are the kind of the same kinds, aren't you? It's the yeah. We should end right at 8 p.m. our time in Korea standard time. So it's 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. in PST in California. And, and it also means it's New Year's Eve for everyone. It really is, yeah, New Year's Eve. I, mm. You know, I don't know if a lot of you guys in chat know how the Korean age system works. It works, I oh, think, no. the same as the Chinese age I don't, system. I don't like this age system. <laughs> in America, where, you know, where, I, where I grew up from, um, you start off at zero years old because you have not lived a life year, yet. Year. And one year later, you become one year old because you have one year of life. But when you come to Korea... When you come here... And you were born in Korea? Mm -hmm. You are one year old. A Korean's definition of what one year old means is that it is your first year of life. It's a different counting system. Yeah, it's a first year of life. And mm -hmm. they count it by year, right? So like, let's say you were born in October, this year, October 2019. Mm -hmm. You're born as a one year old when you're born in October. Then mm -hmm. tomorrow, once it becomes 2020. You are now. You are now too. Even though only too. like two months passed. Yeah. Because you are living the second year of life. So it's a two-month-old, two-year-old baby. Yeah, it's a two-month-old baby in <laughs> in terms of American uh, definition of what age is, mm -hmm. but they are all actually two years old. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to refer to is that I uh, I will be turning 30 tomorrow. No, that's not happy birthday. It's not happy birthday, guys. <laughs> guys, don't get confused. January 1st is not my birthday. Guys, uh, just know that it's not my birthday tomorrow, uh, but I will be turning age. I, I think that just created more confusion. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it, we'll just drop it. What are you guys actually doing on New Year's Eve, knowing that all of our viewers have so many friends, such an abundance of friends? So much friends. Yeah, so many friends, because all gamers have friends, right? All gamers have a lot of friends, so... Um, we're actually... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy's been talking about... Mm. Man, talking about his wife and friends. Talking about wife and... Oh, He's man. like, when are you adding party and groups so I can invite oh, my wife and friends play and with play with them? Friends. Because everyone has so much friends. Sure. I mean, mm -hmm. we were already referring to that point. We already knew that was a fact towards every one of our viewers that are Absolutely. watching. Absolutely. Some access to party play. I mean, you have Bloodkins. Yeah, Bloodkin, Ancient Ruins. Ancient Ruins. 
and you can eat, you can add each other the adventurous fame. Someone's asking about how to use Shaka 2 scroll. Oh, Shaka 2 scroll. Was that the one with the relics last Yeah, week? it was the one with the relics. So, mm -hmm. um, you guys go to Shakata's gear shop, right? There used to be just one section where it says you're just exchanging gold coins, but now there's going to be a button under that. And that's for the, the new relic system that came out last week. Right. And uh, uh, that allows you to exchange any one of your relic into another relic that is the same grade and type. Mm. If you guys want to upgrade your relic, you need to, you need to have another relic of fodder that mm. is the same grade and type. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just remember, same shape, same color, then you can either enhance them or you can change it to a different stat. It's, that's how the system works for now. Is there a plan on lowering the tax of the market? 30% is too high. When you go to the market and you sell whatever you want to sell, whether it's in the currency of silver, whether it's you're selling accessories for pearls, pearls. You, the market gives you a difference between the total price that you sold it for right. minus 30% of that price. I talked about you know buying accessories off of the the add-on shop right. you know, from the pearl shop and then resell it. Put it up on the market. Most for mostly for purple and yellow uh, grade gear. Mm. You still make a profit even after that thirty percent cutoff. Right. And some people actually like the purple because it's a lot easier to collect and that you can enhance them more. Yeah. And so you can put that on an alt if you want. It's you know there's uses for your there's uses for them still. So I think the thirty percent may seem high for certain people, but Personally, I think it's it's pretty justified in terms of what its purpose is. We want market to be a part of the game, but not not so the entirety of the game. But for mobile, thirty percent, like, like I feel the pain. Yeah. I put something up on the market and it goes down. And 30%. literally, one user just said thirty percent is good for the economy. That's literally what they're trying to achieve. I mm. think thirty percent, in my opinion, is a decent number that it keeps a healthy economy. Right. Literally, if it goes any lower, I can see. A situation so much floating I can see, literally see a situation where everybody just in the market for 24 hours during mm -hmm. the game they're not even doing anything else in the game they're just trying to make sure they can make profit and try to make profit right. all day and try to uh, get what they want but and also understand like we have all the data on that how that's how that's affecting the economy within yeah. our own servers so if you have a legitimate point to bring up about it like we're listening to that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, saying that arena PvP uh, balance is a little off, but this eventually balances out with time. Mm. Because right now we're having some people that started off in soft launch and they're still in their old servers and with this decent amount of CP. Mm -hmm. But the CP gain, over time, it kind of it kind of flattens out. Yeah. So you can start your game today and start at level 1, you start with very, very low CP and then you level up quite fast mm -hmm. and it slows down naturally and that's how just how the progression is right. it's hasn't even been a single month uh, since we opened officially right guys we just opened up in December so this balance thing I guarantee you it's only going to get better with time right mm -hmm. now we just have so many people that are just starting out and so many people that have started but still flattening out in terms of the growth rate so and eventually it's gonna look like this when people are still moving right here, the new players are eventually gonna catch up and it's gonna flatten out right here. And like with many other games, PvP is usually one of the end game contents yeah. that people enjoy. And so the learning curve is there, mm -hmm. but once you get over it, like I said, knowing when to dodge, knowing when to roll, knowing when to use certain skills with super armor, things like that, that will help you along the way. So we're actually getting a question, uh, a lot of questions that's saying Arena is full of macro users. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's a big story that went along uh, last week, right? Mm -hmm. If you guys were aware of this, we've had continuous, continuous flow of requests to to ban macro, macro users, especially the ones that are in Arena. We were actually uh, constantly in development of a system that we always were telling you every now and then that we're trying to find the best way uh, to take care of the situation. Once we uh, come to that situation, uh, we will start to take actions. Mm. And we initially thought we reached that point about last week and we officially made a statement and took action and uh, banned all the macro players. Mm -hmm. They were gone. We kind of reinvestigated our system that we used that tool for mm. and we found that there was a little bit of error uh, in the midst of that. So to be the most fair to people that might have get gotten caught along the way in that system that it's they not, didn't do anything wrong but right. they also got banned because of it. We decided to unban our initial list of uh, Wayfan that we did on the first attempt. 
Uh, but we also put out an announcement uh, regarding this saying that right. we will take another wave of action. So what we want to tell you guys right now, and, you know, and it's the topic that uh, a lot of you guys have a lot of fire for, and we definitely understand it. We do. If you are aware that what you're doing right now is not the right thing to do, just I would just ask that you don't do it because the punishment can happen uh, very, very suddenly without any notice. So, uh, I mean, like, if you break the rules and we actually find... You know, we're <clears> being <throat> awfully honest about this, mm -hmm. right? We made an error on our end, and we're saying sorry about that. I mean, a mistake's a mistake. That is what it is. But, you know, we were trying to do what was right, and it didn't go as smoothly as we hoped. Yeah. But we're working on it. We're working on improving that system to get it better fixed and be able to do what is actually right for mm -hmm. the game. We had someone asking about the fishing rewards again. We wow. had that last week too, right? Yeah, fishing <laughs> rewards still hasn't been justified. Uh... Like, what do you think could actually come in? Like, give us your opinions about that. Because uh... if you just say, we want fishing rewards, it's not like, oh, we'll think of something and bring it to you guys. It's kind yeah, of... yeah, yeah. Just give us mm -hmm. maybe like examples of what you would want. Edible yeah. fish for eating. <laughs> Edible fish for who? Uh, I guess the character for heat. Yeah, I mean, for <laughs> is that a pot? Instead of using HP potions. Oh, that's a cute idea. Fish. But do you really want to be eating raw, raw fish? fish yeah. I mean, it's not really healthy. Sits in your inventory for a few days. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I had this fish from last week. A lot of people are giving some good ideas. Fish knowledge. Oh, fish, fish uh, knowledge. That's good. Collection and there's yeah. uh, fish collection books. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Cooking. Wow, cooking is a uh, very unique concept. Mm. Wow, I never really thought of cooking and Black doesn't know all that much. No, I mean, it's in the other Black Desserts, right? Uh, it's yeah, in yeah. for a console and yeah. it's only for online, but like, cooking for mobile. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Someone just was asking, like, can we craft stamina pots? Like, craft how's... stamina pots, okay. I mean, that's a definite thing we can tr try to think about. That's, that's a little bit weird because, like, mm -hmm. you're using stamina to gather material that you can you know, theoretically used to craft a stamina potion, then you use that stamina potion again, oh. and it's like an endless cycle. Mm. Then it becomes something like a fishing, something like hunting, where it becomes it almost unlimited it in can. theory. Mm -hmm. So maybe, I don't know if they're considering that, but it's a good idea, I'm sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hunting life skill. Like boars and bears. Yeah, just like kind of the, the friendly okay. friendly mobs. Don't be, don't be hunting them bears. I mean, just been coming around. Yeah, I mean, but like, I think they're just trying, trying to ask for a little bit of a new type of content. A new it's kind like, of life skill in content. Like there yeah. was cooking, they were asking. For. Yeah. There was, I mean, like, like I said, the the characteristics of each of the different platforms in their games is yeah. very different. Mm -hmm. And so, just trying to bring in a system that we know is in another version, it's not gonna be the same. It's not gonna work the same. It's not gonna feel the same. So it's going to take a lot of working into if we ever do decide to bring something in like that. Mm -hmm. But um, if there's enough of a voice for it, we can definitely try to think about that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, thank you guys once again for joining on today's episode of Velia Inn. I mm -hmm. hope you guys have a great new year. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, so I think that will be it. So happy long. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year.